आर्टिजन हैं और हमारे हैंडलूम एंड हैंडीक्राफ्ट के जो आर्टिजन हैं उन्होंने भी काफ़ी बढ़ चढ़ के इसमें हिस्सा लिया है और अपने प्रोडक्ट को काफ़ी इसमें डिस्प्ले किया है और इतना ओवरफ्लो हो गया है कुछ स्टॉल्स हमने बाहर भी लगवाए हैं तो ये आप सबका ज्वाइंट एक एफर्ट है तो इसी प्रांगण में आज हमने एक वेंचर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम का प्रोग्राम रखा है जिसमें कि पब्लिक प्रिक्योरमेंट पॉलिसी एक पॉलिसी है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एमएसएमई की जिसमें गवर्नमेंट का परचेज होता है गवर्नमेंट का परचेज में 25 परसेंट जो है स्पेसिफिकली एमएसएमई के लिए रिजर्व है एमएससी बाई बाइक और स्मॉल इंटरप्राइजेस के लिए रिजर्व रखा गया है उसमें भी 4 परसेंट जो है वो हमारे एस सी और वुमेन ओल्ड एंटरप्राइज के लिए रखा गया उसके बारे में डिटेल में भी आगे भी हम बात करेंगे कि आप कौन कौन सा प्रोडक्ट उसमें चूज कर सकते हैं और आप गवर्नमेंट को डायरेक्टली भेज सकते हैं तो अलग अलग डिपार्टमेंट से हमारे पास आए हैं ऑफिसर्स जैसे कि आई से आए हैं और पावर ग्रिड से आए हैं एफ से आए हैं उन सबका लाखों का लाखों रुपये का गवर्नमेंट एनुअली होता है तो वो लोग अपनी डिटेल में प्रेजेंटेशन देंगे तो ज्यादा ना बोलते हुए अभी मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा मैडम कुमरानी रीतू सिंह जी से कि वो आज के इस कार्यक्रम में अपना एक एड्रेस देंगे मैडम प्लीज जहाँ पे आपके अस्सी स्टॉल है उसमें से मैं देख रही थी कि अधिकतर औरतें आई हैं और वो भी रूरल सेक्टर से सो दैट आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी टू सी बिकॉज दे आर दू रियली नीड दैट हैंड होल्ड एंड हेल्प We need to procure from them. We need to place orders. Today, you have brought so many people here, and I am hoping they get some great orders. And that's the whole purpose of a vendor development program. MSMEs, as we all know, play a pivotal role in India's economic landscape, contributing significantly to job creation, GDP, and fostering self-reliance. These entrepreneurs, these enterprises, not only fuel local economies through grassroots innovation, but also strengthen the foundation of national growth. by creating opportunities for sustainable development across urban and rural sectors alike vendor development and collaborative growth vendor development programs are vital in bridging the gap between small vendors and larger enterprises opening doors to wider markets and enhancing the quality products and services larger enterprises should actually step forward as mentors fostering sustainable partnerships that drive mutual growth and support the overall industry ecosystem jaise maine kaha i notice that you know sometimes uh, kale ji and varun uh, jai ji i have noticed ki design intervention ka bahut it's very important that we have some kind of design intervention to get them ready for competitive marketplaces china is our biggest competition and you know unki finish aur unki design aesthetic their products are very beautiful and their price factor also so our uh, artisans are very talented but what they do need is a bit of intervention hand holding and uh, you know we can do some capacity building workshops where we some designers come forward uh, from the industry to teach them how products are finished and priced as well you know 
Inclusivity and empowering remote vendors. Inclusivity is crucial for equitable growth, particularly from vendors from rural and remote areas. It's essential to build both digital and physical infrastructure to ensure that these vendors have equal access to markets, technology, resources, enabling them to compete on a national scale and fully participate in the economic growth of this country. Basically, MSMEs are the backbone of India's economy, as we all know. I would like to emphasize the role of vendor development programs in bridging the gap between small vendors and larger enterprises, helping them gain access to wider markets, encourage larger enterprises to mentor, collaborate, and build sustainable partnerships with MSMEs. As their mutual growth benefits the entire ecosystem. Inclusivity and support for remote vendors. We need to stress the need for inclusivity and equitable opportunities for vendors in far off and rural areas, ensuring that they receive the same support as their urban vendors do. The importance of creating digital and physical infrastructure that enables remote vendors to participate fully with access to markets, technology and resources. We must uplift local and small vendors as you are doing so. Encourage focus on local, local sourcing and uplifting smaller vendors by integrating them into the mainstream supply chains. Highlighting the benefit of supporting local vendors not only to strengthen the local economy but to promote sustainable practices and reduce dependency on external suppliers. Policies and benefits for MSMEs outline the need for government schemes and incentives especially specifically address the unique challenges faced by MSMEs, including subsidies, credit access, and skill development. There are many schemes available for vendors in remote areas and the small-scale entrepreneurs who are starting out. And for this, we must congratulate your department, sir, because you're doing a wonderful job by reaching out to far and flung areas. We actually conducted some programs collaboratively, and they went off very well. The growth in the future of the MSME sector we must emphasize on the potential of the MSME sector in propelling India's economic growth, especially in the current environment that values innovation and agility. The importance of, I think, digitization, not just digitalization, but digitization, and innovation within the MSEs encourage vendors to adopt new technologies to stay, to stay competitive and sustainable. There's a call to action. Inspire vendors to make the most of this platform network with each other, seek out partnerships that could bring mutual growth, encourage larger enterprises and government agencies to actively support MSMEs by providing mentorship, market access and other resources. So honestly speaking, I mean this is what I felt that you know, uh, another thing I feel what we need to do is that sometimes you need banks to come forward. You know, our SIDP is coming forward for this because a lot of the time the departments also face issues because ladies and women, a lot of them don't know how to do the process. The process in itself sometimes gets complicated. So, you know, like a collaborative partnership between a bank and the MSME department, along with a small scale entrepreneur, I think that will make a lot of sense. Uh, recently, friends of mine in Bombay have started partnership with Yes Bank. I think we need to get more and more private sector out there to come and handhold and actually to do a partnership with your schemes. So that, you know, loan uh, procurement schemes are accessible. Half the time people are not even aware. And then the processes are a little bit So it creates, uh, you know, a nuisance for you as well. You have reached out to people. But they have to say that 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 they have to say that. You are also the, the wonderful outreach that you did for clusters. I thought that was really brilliant. And we have a lot of... Uh, Art, artisans from the Jammu region itself, where we can, I think, work collectively and I'd be happy to assist wherever I can. Uh, I'm very keen to actually bring out uh, your startup. Our startup system, our startup ecosystem is very robust and there's some incredible startups in the region. And I think along with our wonderful institutes, we have the institutes of IIT, the Jammu University, IIM. Such brilliant universities have come to Jammu, so we can have incubation as well. You can incubate them as well, you know, before they get market ready, so you see incubation, so that they need, you know, any kind of um, design intervention, perfection in their product. It's up to we can look into and I think collectively we can make a huge difference. Once again, I'd like to congratulate all of you for doing such a wonderful job and all of you have done wonderful work, especially for the women and the youth of Jammu, shaping it into a Naya Jammu.
and uh, we are hoping to see great uh, growth and uh, participation for more and more uh, women and youth. Namaskar and thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you.